So if we look at the right hand one, setup wise for me in both cases, grip is much better. You get a much stronger left hand grip. So that's a really, really good positive there. You took the W setup. These are the practice swings. Hips moving nicely there. So a little bump to the left side there, okay? Not to exaggerate. Don't sort of just fire that left no, hip towards the because now you're kind of stuck. It's just a general move of everything kind of almost going in this way. Almost to some extent, a little bit more kind of downwards. So sort of, I can almost fall into that left side. Okay, don't sort of fire the left hip to the target because I know you'll be way underneath and sort of too far behind. But generally speaking, this movement here was good. Arms moving down. And you can see there now as the arms swing through, because you work, work on the hips and there's no concentration of the club face because the ball wasn't there, your arms sort of shook hands to target nicely. Then we put the ball in the way. Because the ball was there, the left arm, you know, <laughs> don't look at it, okay? The left arm now pulling, so there's no way your right arm could be palm facing as it should do, okay? So we palm the sky there, it's got to be, okay? So your focus now in terms of the shot there is thinking about shaking hands to target, okay? So turn to shake hands to target. And when you did that, the hip movement was great, the weight transference was great, and the club face position was great. So you're simply just thinking of one thing. That was a little bit extreme yeah, yeah. out there, okay? It needs to be a kind of... And again, think if you were going to shake hands with someone, your arm's going to be... There you go. You wouldn't like, okay, yeah. and like overly reach for them, yeah? You just turn your torso and put your hand out so you control where your hand goes. And I don't think anyone really has ever said when you've turned to shake hands with someone, oh, where's my hand got to be? You wouldn't go, oh, that's wrong, and then turn your hand. You just go, there you go. Mm. We're aware of where our hands are kind of pointing, okay? So you're more like that. Then when you put the golf ball in the way, Compared to that right hand one now, okay. Again, same good movement back. Good strike of the ball. There's your arms there. Yeah, shaking hands a target. Already you look a little bit more kind of vertical there as opposed to that leaning back there, which is great. And your general movement on this, now the elbow kind of lift. Then you start kind of catching up. So you've got to get to where you want to get to just a little bit late. And if you're a little bit leaning back on this back foot as you hit the golf ball, your contact now is going to be behind the golf ball. It means you get the ground behind the ball. On the way up, you thin it. So when you're doing your chipping and your pitching, those sort of ground first or thin shots will come in from that, okay? This one here now as you come through, you swung through. I would say probably a little bit too far that way, if truth be told. But that's you getting used to kind of recovering to get forward and now not needing to. But that's not going to just disappear. That's almost an instinctive reaction of you when you were kind of stepping forward with the foot there, okay? Yeah. When you get to that follow-through position, I mean there would be okay. That's more than enough weight shift onto the left side. Just let your arm just sort of fold up over. You just have to kind of keep moving forward only because from this one, when you're back here, I've got to move forward now. And you've got kind of, you're moving at the end to try and get into the good position you know you want to get to, but you're kind of masking it a little bit, yeah? So the movement this way happens more so from here as you're coming down, okay? Not after the shot, okay? But if you can, I think, Simply just in simple words, just shake hands to the target. Yeah. Mm. When you put that movement in there, practice that one with the palm on the other side of the grip. Yeah. Just turn it towards target. And just think, yeah, there you go. And when you do that naturally, Sean, your torso twists, your body rotates, and the weight shifts without having to really think about anything specific. Yeah. So we can work on that, that hand shaking to target. Okay. You then just control the length of swing for a shorter shot. Obviously, the length of the backs will be shorter. And a shorter shot, that foot would come in. So your yellow line would represent kind of the the full shots, the blue line represents your pitching and your chipping, yeah? And that would be up to about 40, 50-ish yards, I would suggest, yeah? Mm. All right. Otherwise, I've got to say, really, really good, yeah? Grip position's fab. Hit me on the way back. I mean, that back's from there. Fantastic. Great mm. shoulder turn, good hip turn. They haven't swayed because the shadow's kind of... Yeah. It's perfect, really. Really, really good. Good. But now it's the transition down. And this is where obviously the information down here is when the ball is going to be given. Is the club face aiming to the right slightly? Or are you leaning back a little bit because you kind of jam those hips forward? If you fire them too far forward, if they go forward too quickly, the counter reaction, these go back that way. Now you're kind of going, Ugh. it's going to be that just gentle, kind of just almost bump and just a gentle, again, new phase with a lateral sway. It's not a sway, it's just a shift of weight, that's all. Mm. Hokey cokey. Lovely. Excellent, good stuff, very good.